Hi everybody, uh, today I'm hoping to be able to show you how to play um, a Shadows, old Shadows favourite called The Stranger. Um, I've already put it up on YouTube for you to listen to, um, but this is, I'm going to run through the, the basics of how to play this tune. Uh, stood the test of time for nearly 50 years and it's a standard a, a Shadows classic that um, you ought to, all you uh, budding Hank fans should try and tr and try and play and hopefully after this uh, this video you you'll be able to have a fair a fair grasp of how it's supposed to be played um now please i want to under understand right off that uh, this is money my, my interpretation of the song um if you want to perfect it the way hank plays it you keep playing it and playing it and playing it and eventually i'm sure you'll uh, you'll get it um, but but you need basically you need uh, well a Stratocaster or something similar, uh, an amplifier with some reverb on it, um, possibly some delay if you can. Um, once you've got that, uh, you can get the the backing track from a UB Hank or Goran Tankrin's site. He's got the backing track on there. Um, there are various other places you could get the backing track from. But uh, anyway, uh, let's let's have a go at it. Okay, here we go. We're in uh, a. We're on the A position on the fifth fifth fret. And the tune is in A, and uh, that's I'm roughly in in tune with the record, I think. Now it starts off. The intro is at the seventh or eighth. My big upon the eighth fret on string one, and it's a slight bend. Do that twice. So what it says is, as once again, a slight bend on the eighth, on the first string on the eighth fret, down to the fifth, the second string fifth fret, the third string on the seventh fret, down to the fifth fret on the third string, and then a quick. That's just a, a, a six, a five to six on the third. Up to speed. So that's the first bit. So that shouldn't that shouldn't be too too difficult. So you can rewind the tape and keep checking that out. So the next bit, <clears throat> this is the main. This is the main um, uh, part of the tune. We're we're up on the uh, second fret of the uh, fourth string. It starts off, and that's an E note. Now that last note is underneath my first finger, that's the second string um, <clears throat> and second fret. So once again. Now, there's quite a lot there, so I'm going to go over that again for you. Starts off uh, E E E note. That's a fourth string, second fret. Twice, twice, twice. Right up to that second string on the on the seventh fret. Up to speed. Right 
bit of whammy bar in there because that's a that's a good effect that Hank used to use quite a lot. So that's that part we're gonna next we move on to the bit you have a have a try at that get that see if you can learn that rewind the tape if you need to and it ends up on the open a so that's once again that's from the e note a note open f sharp b Open A, slide up. And that finishes the first part of the song leading up to the middle A, the middle eight, where it go which starts on the A7. So we do that again. Then we're going up to the, the little solo bit. Right, so we're now we're now moving on to the uh, the little little solo piece in the middle. And uh, although I'm I'm probably not playing this tune verbatim to the record, what I've shown what I've shown you so far, there might be a couple of repeats in there, which which you'll have anyway on on, on the video. I just that I haven't gone actually um, perfect to the to the record, but. We're on to the uh, little bit in the middle now. So after that, that A seventh call, which is on the backing track, Hank slides up from the uh, G on the first string with the E on the second string. He slides up to the fifth fret and the seventh fret using the same fingering. So what I'm playing there is I'm sliding up and then I'm hitting the A note on the 6th string twice and then I'm going up to the B on the 1st string to the C and you hope you can see that alright I mean, if you're adept at using the whammy bar, you can keep it in your hand if you want to and just embellish those notes. If you want to, but I, I prefer to, to leave it free and just bring it in position when I want it. But uh, anyway, so th those, those for that first passage. Then, we, then it goes a slide again. And then you back onto the main. So once again, we'll do that. We'll do that very slowly. Yeah, slide up on those. You don't change the fingering. You just slide up from from three to five. It's almost you don't almost play that. You just sort of slide it, play it, but slide it. And then you leave the main notes for the the fifth fret and, and seventh fret. A little jump up there and 
a little run down up to that A flat note on the full on the first string full fret. Up to speed. Sorry. Etc. 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 So you know, if you can follow those those that's, follow those <coughs> simple patterns there that I outlaid in the in the in the in the video, um, keep trying it and keep, play to the, uh, the against the backing track, and that will give you a better idea of where you are on the song. And if um, you've got most of the um, the uh, song there, but you may have to repeat a little bits of it. But you'll have it with what I've shown you, so you should be able to to uh, get that one down. I should think um, in the in the main video where I've actually played it over the backing track myself, I've I've shown you the outro there, which is very similar to the intro, just a couple of bits extra. But you'll be able to follow that, I should think. Well, let's hope um, you know you got something out of that, and uh, we'll see you next time. So thank you very much.